today we will take a look at the best PlayStation for this year. If you want to find more informations check out links down below. Before we start make sure you click subscribe button and like this video. Now let's get started. 5. Xbox Series 10 The Xbox Series 10 utilizes its powerful specs to significantly reduce load times and improve game performance and visual fidelity. But while features such as quick resume and extensive backward compatibility give it an edge, it's lacking in key areas, notably, significant UI improvements and captivating exclusives. The deal is sweetened further thanks to numerous quality of life features enhancing your gameplay experience. Even though Xbox Game Pass is mostly populated by older titles, many are optimized to take advantage of Xbox Series 10's hardware, such as Gears 5, Forza Horizon 4, and Sea of Thieves. It's a great place to experience new gen games for less. The Xbox Series 10 represents the ideal time to jump into the Xbox ecosystem for the first time. It's also above and beyond the quality longtime Xbox fans have come to expect. 4. Steam Deck The Steam Deck is easily one of the most anticipated pieces of PC gaming tech. As you've already seen from the memes, the Steam Deck is pretty massive. It's 11.7 inches from end to end, which is more than 2 inches longer than a Switch, and at 1.5 pounds it's quite a bit heavier. The size difference is enough that going back to my Switch after using the Steam Deck exclusively for a few days makes the Switch feel like a microconsole. The Steam Deck's LCD screen runs at 1200 by 800 at 60 Hz, and it looks really good. The feature can be turned off in the Steam menus, but by default the gyros are activated when the thumbstick's touch-sensitive surface detects your thumbs. Shoulder buttons feel good, although the L2 and R2 triggers are much better than the L1 and R1 bumpers. The bumpers feel alright once you actuate them, and in fact have a lovely little click but to get to that point feels a little softer than I would like. The Steam Deck does have Bluetooth controller support. 3. Sony PlayStation 4 Slim, CUH2215B. The newer PS4 has a smaller footprint, slick design, quieter operation and keeps intact all of the PS4 awesomeness it's offered since 2013. The internal hardware is basically identical to the earlier 2013 model, just crammed into a smaller housing. In other words, there are zero reasons for existing PS4 owners to get one. And the PS4 Pro should be the first stop for gamers looking to finally take a leap into the PlayStation realm. So what's different about the PS4 Slim? For the most part, just the plastic body. It's rounded now instead of pointy at the ends and it's surprisingly thin. In fact, I wouldn't stand it vertically without the optional stand Sony sells. I also like the tactile power and eject buttons on the front left side. The most noticeable difference between the original PS4 and the new Slim is the omission of an optical digital audio port around back. This probably won't mean much to you unless you use a third-party headset from a company like Astro or Turtle Beach. 2. Sony PlayStation 5 Digital Edition The PS5 is a true generational leap offering incredibly fast load times and an innovative new controller that can change the way games feel. Not only does the PS5 offer 4K gaming, it has seriously advanced haptics, a speedy SSD and immersive 3D audio. All of these and more combined to deliver a console that's truly equipped for next generation, or now current generation, gaming. That massive chassis allows the PS5 to pump out some serious performance while staying mostly cool and quiet but the sheer size of the new PlayStation could be an issue for those with small entertainment areas. The PS5's eye-catching, futuristic aesthetic has been the subject of much debate ever since it was unveiled, and I still have mixed feelings about it. 1. Sony PlayStation 5 The PS5 is a powerful console offering a sublime current-gen gaming experience. Its library of exclusive games makes fantastic use of the DualSense controller, 3D audio, and the console's lightning-fast SSD. The PS5 caters to people ready to jump into the new generation of video games, alongside PS4 owners who don't want to leave their collection of games behind. There's big upgrades like the super-fast NVMe SSD and powerful GPU that enable higher frame rates and ray tracing. Due to its curves and tall stature, it's not just a case of placing the console down and playing once you pull the PS5 out the box. You'll need to wrap your head around the PS5's attachable stand first, 
which isn't exactly the most user-friendly experience. The front of the PlayStation 5 has a USB-A and USB-C port, while the back sports two USB-A ports, a HDMI 2.1 port, an Ethernet port and a power port. There are no proprietary ports on the console, which is always a bonus if you need to replace the odd cable. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video make sure you like it and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in next video.